let's install NLTK and I will write a sample code and run it using NLTK and let's see how to do that. First go to your browser and go to pypi.org. So this is Python package index. So all the Python packages can be found here. Now search for NLTK and click on this first result that shows pip install NLTK. So you now you need to copy this command and you will run this command to install NLTK. Now make sure whatever package you choose are the official ones because if you search any package, let me search it again, you'll get a bunch of different options. So to make sure that this is the one you're searching for, what you can do is you can go to their homepage and make sure this is the one you're looking for. Okay, so I have now copied this pip install NLTK. Now I will open command prompt or you can open terminal if you're on Mac or Linux. Now paste it and hit enter. So now I'm getting this error pip is not recognized but I have pip installed. Pip is just not in my environment variables in my path variable. So what you can do is if this is the same case with you you can do python m pip install nltk and it will start installing nltk. Now if in your case you don't even have pip installed check the first link in the description it will show you how to install pip how to add pip to path environment variable okay so i have now installed nltk let's create a project and let's try to run a project using nltk i will open this with visual studio now this will open this project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so Visual Studio is open and this folder NLTK is open in Visual Studio. Now let's create a small file and we will test out NLTK installation. Uh, I've copied the code, I'll just paste it here. And let's try to run this and let's see if it works or not. Okay, so NLTK is imported. As you can see here, there is no error here. It is imported, but we are getting an error in download averaged perceptron tracker. So this means that this is not being downloaded right now. Now I will check why that is, but in any case, NLTK is successfully installed and you can now start creating NLTK projects. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.